Yo, what's good, yo? It's your boy Ozzy Oz. Representing out of the Pure Lava Show, you know, definitely. Yo, you know what? It's just funny, I just happen to tight Red Cafe because I always hear his name here and there in, in, in Brooklyn, but I never knew that he was from Brooklyn, you know? I'm looking at this interview, but I know the song because the song was played in on Hot 97, his hot tune and stuff. But, um, you know what's so bug? It's like, during that interview when he was talking about Brooklyn and watching certain cats, cats be talking certain things, you know what I mean, on DVDs and hip hop records and it's not them. But listen to what he said, this is true. This is so true. When you look at somebody, you can hear it in their voice, their language. You can see it in their eyes, see? And I said that before, you see what I'm telling you? Look at this, man. I said that before in many stuff, man. It's true. You can see it. That's they not gangster. That's not what they they about. That's not who they are. They just portraying something. You know what I mean? That's the thing I hate. Just be yourself, man. There's nothing wrong being cool. There's nothing wrong being yourself. You know what I mean? And I told you, a lot of hip-hop artists are scared to come to Brooklyn. I always keep saying it. I've witnessed it. Every time somebody hired me to host and stuff like that, I heard promoters go actually, and I went with them to the booking agencies in Manhattan to book certain artists in Brooklyn. They would not come to Brooklyn. But yet, and still, they talk certain gangster, talk certain this, certain that. You see, he said it. He said it. But Brooklyn is still a place to party. I don't want nobody ever to be discouraged. I keep telling you that, and I'm going to keep saying it. You could come to Brooklyn Brooklyn's still a place to party. White, black, Chinese, come out to Brooklyn. It's not a war zone. You know what I mean? That's real talk. You know what I mean? I've always been deep-rooted, for those that don't know. Ozzy Oz in, in, in Brooklyn from the showcases, like Flex in Brooklyn, the dancing, when the Crips, Blood, United Kings. You know what I mean? Always been deep-rooted. What about before then with Decepticons? You know what I mean? Bigger to my boy Sai. Big up to my boy Rumble, you know what I'm saying? Family. The movie coming out, the Decepticons movie is coming out. It was done by um, Federal from um, um, Onyx and some other cat. But it's soon coming out. I think it'll probably be in 2008, if I'm not mistaken. You know, they're still working on it. But, um, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, like, Brooklyn is still a place to party. You know what I mean? So, y'all can still come out. Come out to more Money Mondays. Y'all know me. When I said the comment on YouTube about DJ Envy and all this other stuff, he didn't come out, his people came out, he didn't come out. He had still he talked about it in Ohio 97, a little something, whatever excuse he made and whatever uh, 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 comment showing off or whatever the case may be. But it is what it is. He didn't show up. You know what I mean? That's what it is. When I did, you know, anyway. But... All the young people watching this, yo, let me tell y'all something. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that's my age or whatever the case may be, yo, just be yourself. You ain't got to portray no rapper. You ain't got to portray no no um, Tony Montana. You ain't got to portray no John Gotti. You portray yourself. You know what I mean? You represent your family. You know what I mean? And everybody, anybody else that's watching this representing in Brooklyn, you know what I mean? You know, you tell your friends... Brooklyn is still a place to party. But Bigger the Red Cafe, yo, he, he, he can rhyme. Yo, he's spitting some serious lyrics, so big up to him. You know what I mean? Red Cafe, you gotta... I miss one of your performance. I don't even know if you made it, though, because I don't know if they just put you on the fly or what, but it was supposed to be at the Lee Gawk in Brooklyn. I wanted to come and check it out and see, you know, the performance and stuff. I didn't even get a chance to make it. But hopefully you'll be able to perform in Brooklyn, so I could pass through, or pass through the More Money Mondays, you know what I mean, Cafe 400 in Brooklyn on North Shen Avenue, Sterling and Park Place, that's where we be at, or we moving back to, as soon as the liquor license is right, Grand Resort, 1251 Atlantic Avenue, between North Shen and New York, it's right in the area, but anyway, like I said, if anybody that's watching this and watching interviews and stuff like that, be yourself, don't be, you ain't got to portray no gangster, because on some realness, real people, Real people don't be carrying on like that. Because anytime you real and you, and you about it, you ain't going to try to push no other issue or nothing like that. Because you know what you can do. So why why become a, 
why be something that you, you know what I'm saying? Why, be, why come out of cavity if you don't have to? That's a real person. Sometimes cats, a lot of times cats that come out of cavity, cats are just trying to portray an image, but they scared inside. That's how it is. They scared. You know? <laughs> anyway, yo, I keep it simple like me. I smile every day. I walk the streets. I go to every party by myself. Because of my partner, Crown Ricky Indy, out of the Pure Lava Show, definitely. And like I said, yo, um, that was a good interview, yo. I, I just was listening to certain things he was saying. And he was like, Biggie Smalls? That's right, you know what I mean? He's crowned the king of Brooklyn, that's right. Yo, true story, I hosted, like, one of my first, first time I ever hosted was in Philadelphia. Um, I hosted um, in a boxing ring. It was Biggie Smalls and Craig Matt and um, Puff Daddy. Yo, that's when they like first came out, yo. It was like Craig Mack's first song was hot. And Biggie just released the album. Just released it. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of memories, man. But anyway, um, whether you white, black, Chinese, whatever, just enjoy life. Live life to the fullest and still come out. I want to see y'all come out to Brooklyn. I want to get y'all on one of these DVDs. We up to volume three. Volume three is going to come out more money Monday. This volume two. Volume 3 coming out. I want to see it. Hopefully see y'all on Volume 4 just to say y'all came out to Brooklyn. And big up to all the hip-hop artists, you know what I mean? Definitely pass through more Money Mondays. I want to see y'all pass through. I want to see y'all pass through. And that's it. I want to see it. You know what I mean? Catch it on video that you hear. And, you know, just pop up or call me and say, yo, today Monday, where's the party at? Oh, okay, y'all did. Just pop up. You know what I mean? So you ain't got to worry about somebody advertising or somebody know that you did. You just go pop up just like that. When they see you on video, they know you represent it. So whether you're white, black, come out to Brooklyn. Come out. Show show the world you could party in Brooklyn. Anyways, your boy Ozzy Oz representing out of the Peel Alpha Show. Hit me up at myspace.com slash O-Z-Z-I-E hype. Hit up my partner in crime at myspace.com slash R-S-C-K-Y Indian. That's Ricky Indian. Or you can call me at 718-954-2629. That's my cell phone. I answer it. Big up to all the people throughout the whole world that hit me up, whether negative or positive. I want to say what's up because at least I know you're paying attention. And like I said, it, it is what it is. And you know what I mean? Never, never give up. Never give up. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy life. Live it to the fullest. And smile because it's good for the soul.